Hello, this is Richard, and uh, I have this idea for um, entertainment. It has to do specifically for like movies, but I guess it, it can apply to uh, to music too. The idea has to do with um, has to do with uh, getting bored with watching films traditionally, having to abide by the same plot and storyline and the same feelings that you felt when you watched the film and like you know like G Indiana Jones and uh Star Trek films or shows or or even TV shows you know this could apply for movies and TV shows but specifically for movies you know like for like ET or uh, Jurassic Park those are specific films that I like but what I want to talk about is that Maybe there could be a device, a sensor, that uh, when you're watching a film like in the theater, you can, uh, as you're watching the film, because in, in reality, the mind um, is always bouncing around, the mind is always wandering, the mind is always uh, very, um, it gets very bored very easily, and it always, uh, is always, uh, thinking and envisioning different things like um, when you're hearing a story from someone that's telling you a story sometimes your mind is somewhere else and you're uh, trying to be fixated on the story to be polite but also to be entertained too you know um, but uh, like your mind wanders off and your perception of the story changes you know like everybody's perceptions of reality changes at some points and their idealisms change and their moods change and the thing is is that uh, what I want to do with filmmaking and TV shows or whatever or music is that while you're watching a movie you're watching uh, you know like uh, two people acting you know you're watching a scene on the film on the movie projection and instead of just and traditionally and still traditionally just watching a movie and having to just, you know, see the same scenes and see the same um, air, uh, locations and s hear the same music and watch the same shapes and colors and, you know, storyline and plots and all that stuff. You know, um, to, in, in, in order for, for there to be true, endless, limitless, boundless entertainment for the masses, you had to allow them to manipulate your story and your movie in some way so that it can apply to them and their lives and their moment of existence as they're watching the film at that time you know um, the only way for a true artist to let a listener or a viewer of whatever medium you're doing to really let them become 100% involved and make the film their own and make their music track their own is to allow their mind to manipulate what they're seeing or hearing now what i mean by that is that by allowing your film it starts off with the film you know say that your film starts off with a scene with two people talking and they're in a vehicle or something or there's an action scene or something um within a few moments the mind starts to wander because that's just the way the human mind is. It wanders, you know. It's thinking other things. And, and the movie is in a part of the person's life. So when a person go watches a film, they're taking time out from their own lives to go watch a film. They might have had someone die before they watched the film. They might have had, uh, they might have been invo involved in the argument that, it, that they're emotionally still involved in while watching the film. And, or they're just, uh, you know, um, like children, their mind wanders. So when you're watch, when the, while they're watching your film, the scene, the film starts to um, starts to be manipulated by their brain waves, by their emotions and thoughts. You know, um, like let's say there's a scene with two people talking, and then let's say that I'm watching the film or a person watching the film. And their mind starts to wander off and start of kind of trail off a little bit from the film and the story. The mind will the mind will send signals to a, to a machine that will read the signals and then manipulate the image on this on the screen. 
and therefore manipulating the story itself. So let's say that these people are watching the film, but then their their dialogue, their their discussion changes due to due to the specific um, changes of the person's thoughts and emotions. So if the the scene of the two people in the movie are talking about a robbery or something then the person's mind is going to start to kind of wander and trail off a little bit. It's going to go into other areas of the brain to find uh, more, more finding more amusement. So the machine is going to start to memorize and kind of, I mean, start to kind of read that. And it's going to start to kind of subconsciously reading the subconscious of the brain of the, of the viewer and start to change the dialogue and the situation of the scene to abide by the the person is watching it so they might be watching something about this but then it goes off and then it becomes instead of talking about robbery it's talking about uh a death or something a death in the family or uh or it has to do with 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 anything really um so it can fit the viewers emotions and moment in time that they're feeling while they're watching the film now that might trail off from from your artistry but in a way, that's more truthfully uh, obeying the viewer's demands to really be involved in a story. You know, which is what artistry should have always been, which is something that connects to people. Now, now this, now let's say that um, you know, this is. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be more constructive in the way that I describe it, so it could be more imaginative. But in a way. The machine would follow just basic things, you know, um, to, just to kind of get the viewer's attention back on track. But if they, but let's say there's a person listening to music. The person could listen to the music, the rock music. But a lot of times, the the person watching, listening to the rock music, like the viewer watching the movie, their emotions are going to be ch changing and shifting. So the person's mood might change, and then the music will change to the person's mood. So if they're listening to country, they're going to listen to rock, depending on the mood of the person. Or the, or the brain waves of the person, or if the person's relaxing, the music's gonna change to them, or it's gonna abide by them. It's gonna fit them, you know. And let's say that there's a. Uh, let's just let's be more creative here. Let's say that there's a scene on the movie where um, these people are um, going into dreamland. And depending on the person's mood and brain waves and thoughts, the machine's gonna read that. And it's going to translate that to manipulate the story and movie itself. So if there's a pink wall, if there's a person standing in front of a pink wall, then the person's brainwave is going to want to think of green or blue a blue wall that the, that the actor could be in front of instead of pink. So the brain, the machine's going to read that and they're going to change it to pink or green or whatever. To pink, uh, to mean to green or to blue or purple or whatever. And the person's uh, short then then the the viewer is going to think of him being short i mean tall so it's going to manipulate his height and you know so everything's going to be manipulated it's going to be completely obeying the viewers uh the viewers intensive uh thinking you know it's almost the same as like when you're in a dreamland the reason why dreams change and shift a lot you know like let's say that you're in a dream and you're sitting down eating breakfast with your family and then all of a sudden a few seconds the seat sinks into the ground and then you're in a tidal wave in the ocean and then you're in the ocean struggling and then all of a sudden you're on top of an airplane you know the brain is constantly getting it the, the brain is unbound and unlimited and you know when you're in the dream you're like whoa what's going on you're, you're you know you're entertained you know that's the truth of it you're entertained while you're in the dream the brain is shifting and changing because the brain waves and the 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 neurons and the and the neuroplasticity is shifting because it has to do with the the person being sleeping in an environment you know and uh you know it, it, and it, and and the brain is just shifting and changing to other parts of the emotions of the of the of the psyche and the subconscious of the brain it's fluctuating up and down and when it fluctuates it changes the images from what is collected in the brain and just kind of splatters them together so you know it doesn't follow rules or, or limits and that's why that's why dreams fluctuate a lot 
and that's the way I think movies and music should be. It should it should bound it should be bound and be um following the mood and the emotions of the viewer or listener. Regardless if the if the artist or the director wants to tell a story, the true way to really you know entertain is to let the people construct their own story so it could be a part of their lives and be connected to them you know even though you know you might want to start off you, you know a director might want to release a movie about aliens but at the end of the film the viewer is going to change it to like an alien dancing with michael jackson on the moon you know and it, it's like it, it it just depends you know and, and but you know you'll get viewers you'll get people to come and watch the film you'll make money you know for sure you will that the goals of music too. So there could be a machine that could read the brainwaves of the person and change and shift and obey the you know the the viewer listeners thoughts and feelings and emotions because the the person's always thinking and wondering and the story gets kind of bland and stale. You know even new movies they're bland and stale and people already know the plot and they know the ending and they know the characters and they know the the construct of it because films have been around for 100 for like 100 years almost or about 100 years. And it's like, um, they've been around forever, and it's like, we already know the stories and plots already. You know, so that just kind of makes things more fun and more flexible for, like, entertainment. Because, really, there's no new ideas. There's only, there's only ways to entertain and let people entertain themselves. Basically, it's entertaining themselves. And the machine is, like, the medium is the middleman between the movie and the person. You know, it's the one who translates and tells, tells to, tells the computer, hey, this person's thinking this, change it up a little bit, speed it up, slow it down, or change the color of that, or replace that person with this, you know, so the person could keep their attention, and they could sit throughout the movie and not want a refund, you know, or not have a bad critic, you know, you know, it changes up everything, but that's my idea for entertainment, and that's probably... The end all idea basically for entertainment is to just let the people construct their own stories and let them be involved in what they want to be involved in. You know? And uh, this is Rich Cispit is, and that's my idea for a machine that can let people manipulate your music and your story so that it can fit them in their lives. And believe me, you'll make money. You will. Just let them change it up a little bit let them change your story let them change your song a little bit thank you